Now you can pull the wheel off or you can just turn the wheel to get it out of your way. I'm just gonna use a seven millimeter socket, take this bolt out here, there may be one right there, and take that one out as well. And then take a trim tool and there's push pins. There's one right here, there should be two right there. Take those out. And there should be one right here as well. You can take that one out. Should be able to move this panel back. Grab the bumper, slide it over here, you can pull this piece of the bumper out. You can access the negative battery terminal right here. Take a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and disconnect the negative side. You don't want to disconnect the positive side. It's always better to disconnect the negative side so you don't arc anything out. Loosen this up. Should be able to grab the terminal and just wiggle it up and out of the way. I'm gonna remove this worm clamp or at least loosen it up. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket. You could also use a straight blade screwdriver. Slide this off right there. And down below, I'm gonna do the same. It's a worm clamp down here. Loosen this one up. I'm just gonna remove this hose clamp right here. Use some hose clamp pliers, and then I'll just twist this hose, separate that. You can either take the clamp off or leave it on there. Now we should be able to remove this hose. There is a wire that's connected down below here, and just take a trim tool, slide that wire off right there. That's where it was. Now I'm gonna disconnect the connector, just push on the tab on the back side of it and the top side, and slide the connector off. There's a bracket right here. I just wanna remove the bolt that goes on the transmission side. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench. And take the bolt out. Now on the bracket side, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, take the two bolts out that go through the throttle body. that one out and the top one and then the bracket will slide right out. Now I'm going to take these other two bolts out and use the same 10 millimeter socket. All right, I'll take those bolts out and grab the throttle body and slide it right out. You can use a pick and get the old seal off. My seal lifted up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to get that off. Pull that off, and then just take a rag, wipe down that surface, make sure you don't drop anything into the intake. With that clean, we take the new seal, slide it in position. There you go, just like that. Take the new throttle body, carefully slide it in position. Do not drop the throttle body. It's very sensitive. And then take these bolts, get the bolts lined up. Right there. There is a pin right here. So line that pin up. I'll put these two side bolts in first and we'll get the bracket. Take this bracket, put it in position, and get the other bolts lined up. And I'll take this other bracket bolt, get that started. Now I'll take the 10 millimeter socket and extension and just snug these bolts up first on the throttle body. All right, before I tighten those throttle body bolts down, I'm just gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench. Just tighten down this bracket bolt right here. Just snug that down. All right, so we're gonna torque these bolts to 65 inch pounds. Make sure you're on inch pounds, not foot pounds. 
And we're going to do this in a sequence. Start with this bolt right here, then we're going to cross over to this one over here. Tighten that one up. And this one right here. And then cross over to this one, and this is the last one. And that's good. Then we can tighten this bracket bolt to 18 foot-pounds. Now we'll take the electrical connector, line it up, plug it in. Now take the snorkel, make sure you take that wiring harness that was plugged into the snorkel and reattach that. Just get it in position. Connect that wiring harness and then connect it down by the throttle body. And up near the air filter box. That looks good. I'm going to take the hose clamp pliers, loosen up the hose clamp, and slide this piece back into the snorkel, line that back up that and tighten up this worm clamp up top and then same on the throttle body. Now we can reconnect the negative side of the battery. Just take the terminal, put it on the battery. Just take a 10 millimeter socket and an extension. Get it on the battery terminal and tighten it up. Grab the battery cable, make sure it's tight. That's good. Now it'll be a little bit easier to get this on if you put the inner shield in first. Line that up. And line the bumper back up. That's good. Reinstall this screw and the one down there. Tighten it up. Install this push pin right here. there. If you have one right there, install that. And then these two as well. It's recommended that after you replace the throttle body, you perform an ETC relearn procedure. Not all scan tools can do this. What it basically does is tells the computer where the throttle body is, where the idle is, and it'll recalibrate everything in its proper spot.